So outside on the tiny house, the first thing that makes this tiny house off-grid, of course, is the six solar panels. Each solar panel is a 200 watt solar panel that connects to 800 amp hours of power. From there, it goes to the inverter and to the breaker box, and it runs just like your normal home off normal 110 volt AC. So when I think about this tiny house, I think about taking a small space and making it feel big. That's why we decided to put the French doors in and really does. You could be inside cooking or hanging out with your friends and your family. And when you're inside, you could have four or five people inside. And it, even at 160 square feet, it still feels big enough that you can be comfortable. Now these French doors close really, really easily. Just like any other normal French door, they just have a couple of pins, one on the top and one on the bottom. And one of the other great things that we decided to do with this is put a commercial door closer on it. This way the wind can't grab it and slam it open or slam it shut. Uh, this closes slowly and it's also a guard against wind. So if you were to ask me my number one favorite feature of the tiny house, I would say it's the high ceilings. The high ceilings give you this feel throughout the cabin or the tiny house that you're in a much bigger space than you are. Even though it's only 160 square feet, when you're in it, you feel like you have space to move around in. When we designed this tiny house, our overwhelming thought was make the space feel big because we know big feels comfortable. So my favorite feature in the tiny house is the high ceilings. And taking the loft out and keeping the ceilings high gives you that, that feeling. Even though this space is only 160 square feet, it feels much bigger and it feels comfortable to be in. Here in the bathroom, we have our deep acrylic soaking tub. Acrylic really is a massive upgrade over fiberglass for both longevity really and looks as well. On top of that, I have this set up as both a bath faucet and the ability to use it as a sitting shower. So here I am in the bathroom of the tiny house. What we have for a toilet in here is the Eco John Tiny John. This is an incinerating liquid propane toilet. It incinerates the waste into a small amount of ash. It's really easy to use. You take a tissue, put it in the toilet, do your business. It drops it into the chamber and incinerates it. And for three or four people using it, you have to empty the ash. This is just white ash about once a month. So this thing really is great for anybody that wants to go straight to off-grid living and doesn't want to have to worry about installing a septic tank or working with any, any other kind of tank that could involve waste. So this is our two burner stove LP gas that we have in the tiny house. Provides plenty of power for any kind of cooking that you wanna do. Here I am in the kitchen. This is the granite composite sink. This is a 22 inch sink. This is as big as any standard sink in any uh, stick built or site built house. On the sink I have a commercial style faucet sprayer. This butcher block cutting board fits really nicely on top of the sink. It's just one of those little extras that gives you a little extra cooking space or cutting space. And on the other side of me, I have the LP cooktop. The idea with adding LP to this tiny house was to take some pressure off the solar on top so we can have everything running at once. Right next to the kitchen, I have this little office area here with a small desk. This little cove could fit a pull-out table for dining, but right now what we have in here is this little office area. Uh, above the office area is our AC heat pump mini split. This provides heating and cooling. We've, we've tried this out at 110 degrees and it cools the tiny house great. And here in Southern California, we've had it down to, it's probably about 40 and it's on the lowest setting, it's plenty of heat. And based on the BTUs, this small space, this is more than you'd ever need. 
So above the little office area, right next to the kitchen is our mini split. This is an AC with a heat pump, so it both heats and cools, and it runs off a remote. We've used this all the way up to 110 and down to about 35, and it works phenomenally well. Here I am in the kitchen area of the tiny house. Right here we have our big cabinet. It has enough room for all your dishes, pots and pans, kitchen gadgets, and probably quite a bit more. Across from the sleeper sofa is a custom bookshelf. This is made with pine and three quarter inch plywood. The three quarter inch plywood is finished with Swedish pine tar and organic raw linseed oil. This is the same finishes that we put on the outside and the entire inside as well. We've strayed away from using any kind of non-natural product as much as we possibly can in the cabin. Uh, our idea is we wanted this to be somewhere that we feel comfortable and safe and want to be in. Inside of this bookshelf, I have two outlets. My idea for the outlets was giving a space to charge cell phones, tablets, computers, whatever else you might want to have. Beyond that, it really provides a nice amount of additional storage as well. Here I am in the sleeping sitting area of the tiny house. This bed has a lot of storage, both underneath the mattress here, as well as two large rolling wooden bins underneath the bed itself. Now when you're ready to go to sleep, these backrests come off and you have a full size bed. Now if you want to sit in a different position, all you got to do is adjust the backrests and you can sit facing any direction you want. So the main room of the cabin, I have two 48 by 48 windows on either side. They let in a lot of light and a lot of great views, which is really one of the things I love about this place, including the two large French doors that you have opening into the cabin. Sometimes that light can heat up the cabin a little too much. So we installed blackout lavaliers, easy to pull down, and they provide total blackout. This really cools the cabin down on those really hot days. It also allows you to sleep inside the cabin when it's light out. So to make this tiny house off-grid ready, we connected 1200 watts of solar panels to 800 amp hours of batteries with a 3500 watt inverter. This all gives you enough power for anything that you want to do in the house.